Hi, superheroes. I'm Pink Phoenix, coming to you from Purdue University College of Veterinary Medicine's League of Veti Humans. Today, our special guest on Veti Humans Live is Silver Lion. Thanks for being on the show, Silver Lion. Thanks for having me. <laughs> to get started, can you tell us your story? Yeah. So my name's Alani Smiley. I grew up in the in Michigan in the Detroit area. I attended college at Michigan State University, and then I am now currently at vet school at Purdue University, and I am a second year student. Okay, Silver Lion, how did you pick your superhero name? Well, so my favorite color is silver, so that was a must. <laughs> and then I also love lions because of their qualities, like they're known for their strength, for being courageous, for being loyal and fierce. So I just wanted to combine that together, and that's how I got my name. Excellent. Oh, good characteristics. Can you describe the moment when you knew you had to become a veterinarian? Yeah, so... It was actually two moments. So it started with a high school project about elephants and circuses and their use in the entertainment industry. And that's when I started to look at working with animals. And then a few years after that, my Nana had a dog named Bandit and it was like in the middle of the night and she was picking him up and he actually twisted and fell out of her hands. And so he hit his head and was unconscious, like knocked out. And so I just remember the feeling of being helpless and calling 911 and them telling they really couldn't help me or do much. So then I was like looking up emergency clinics at around midnight, which were very few and far between. And I finally found one an hour away. And I just feel like that moment was so ingrained in me and especially with already having an interest after the high school project that that's when I decided to become a veterinarian. Wow, well, very powerful story there. All right, next question. What did you think veterinary college would be like and what's it really like? <laughs> so, oh, vet school. So I thought that vet school was gonna be exams every single week very stressful, a lot of crying, <laughs> and I mean, working with animals, but I definitely heard about all the exams that I would need to do. And so now that I'm actually here, I found out that yes, that is indeed true. We do have exams every week, but I also found out that it's very rewarding because even though, yes, it is stressful to take an exam, I'm able to learn about the field that I'm very passionate about and I'm able to apply the knowledge that I'm learning and seeing the outcome of it in the form of exams, even though they're very stressful. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. <laughs> so before you started vet college, what were you most anxious about? Oh, so I was most anxious about the exams because I wasn't really a good test taker going through undergrad, mostly because I didn't really study, but I just always remember like I felt like I knew a lot and then I would get to the exam and I would just blank out. So I was very worried about that in vet school. And then I was also worried about remembering everything that I was learning because I know that it just... Um, accumulates and builds on each other. And I don't want to lose any information because I feel like it's very vital for my veterinary career to remember what I can and everything that I can. But I know I can't remember everything. <laughs> and then I also was very worried about just belonging in veterinary school because I didn't come with a lot of animal experience compared to my peers. So I was very worried about that. So how did you overcome those anxieties? Well, for the studying, I attempted different studying techniques that I never really used before and really reaching out to my professors when I started to struggle or needed clarification on certain concepts and then just accepting that I can't learn everything. I can just do what I can and try my best. And then for feeling like I belong, I had to talk to my mentors here at the school 
and talking to my family and friends more and just learning to move past my imposter syndrome that I was feeling and knowing that I was selected for a reason to be here. Absolutely. And we are so glad you are here. If you were talking to a friend, how would you recommend that they prepare for vet college? I would tell them that if they know, like, in the beginning, what kind of track that they want to go in and they seem very passionate about, even though it can change, that they should research the schools that have a focus in that specific track. But more so, my biggest advice would be to take courses that will better prepare you. So like, I wish I was able to take a medical terminology course, a nutrition course, even like your math courses are, I'm finding out very important while you're here. So I would definitely say to look more into classes to better, to better prepare you and prep you for the courses that you'll be taking at veterinary school. All good advice. (laughs) Hey, I want to know about your favorite class. What is it and why do you love it so much? Okay, so I love physiology. Like that will always be my favorite course because I love learning how things work. And I feel like that comes from my engineering background that I have. Like I just I just want to know why things work, how they work, and like what can go wrong. And so I feel like that course specifically lets me know all that fun facts and stuff. I love physiology too. <laughs> Good pick. As you've gone through vet school now, what kind of veterinarian are you thinking of being? And has that changed from when you applied to college? So I am currently thinking that I want to be a zoo veterinarian that hopefully can travel the world and go to other countries and everything. And that hasn't changed from when I applied to veterinary school. I am finding out that I'm developing an interest specifically in dentistry, and I want to see where that goes. But overall, I am still pursuing zoo vet med. That'd be wonderful if you could combine the two. Yeah, that would be really cool. Do you have any questions for the zoo vets out there listening? Yes, I do. So how can I make myself specifically as a second year vet student moving into my third year more competitive for future externships and internships that I need to do after um, receiving my DVM degree Also, what can I do to gain experience if I'm not able to land such opportunities in zoos since it's such a competitive field so that I can also make myself more competitive is really what I feel like I need to need to find more information in regards to zoo vet med. Okay, all you zoo veterinarians out there listening, email me at bettyhumans at purdue.edu and let me know what information I should pass on to Silver Lion. And if you got an internship out there for her, let me know that too. Yes, please. (laughs) So when you're not studying for your exams, what do you do for fun? Oh, so I love to read like that. That is my favorite. However, I have a binging problem where I can't put down the book once I start. (laughs) So then I like instead will maybe play a video game or two with my friends. And I'm currently looking for a a Taekwondo um, place where I can train in Indiana because I used to love to do that in undergrad, but I haven't found somewhere yet. Okay, a mission, all you Taekwondo instructors <laughs> out there. Email us too. <laughs> Tell us about your superpowers, Silver Lion, and how are you using them to support or inspire others through the league? So my superpower is determination to never give up. And I want to use that superpower to encourage those that I come across to try new things because you never know what can come from it and to just persevere even if you get knocked down a few times. Excellent. 
Do you have an additional inspirational message for aspiring veterinarians? I would just say to do what makes you happy at the end of the day and to look at possible outcomes that you come across. Maybe that is lack of experience or people just doubting you as just opportunities that you can grow as an individual and just move closer towards your goals and dreams. What an excellent life outlook. I love it. Thank you so much for being on the show, Silver Lion. Thank you for having me. You can learn about other League of Veta Human superheroes at vetahumans.org. If you like this episode, please subscribe, rate, and share it with your friends. And remember, use your powers for good. Bye.